My name is Horst Siegfried Filzer. One of the most frequent questions that I get concerns chemotherapy. It usually starts out something like, my friend is on chemotherapy for breast cancer, etc., etc. How much Kangen water should she drink? Well, first of all, she could drink all she wants because there's no magic or mystery. Kangen water is good for any human condition because it is the best water you can drink, just parenthetically. During chemo, many uh, doctors advise that uh, antioxidants be discontinued. Well, it turns out that there's a total myth and that is completely wrong. The uh, antioxidants do not adversely affect chemotherapy. And it is absolutely uh, shown by a number of studies that uh, no harmful effects occur if you're on chemo and if you are uh, taking antioxidants, whether that be in the form of Kangen water or any other antioxidants. Another question. I have a prospect who has cancer. Will the water help? Well, first of all, there is no scientific data that we can quote that the water would cure. However, because the product promotes wellness, because the product gives us good hydration, and good hydration makes people feel better, people with cancer should drink all they possibly can because it will make them feel better about themselves and also improve their sense of well-being, uh, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the best thing that you can do when you have a miserable disease. Now, here's another question, and uh, this has been battered around a number of times and asked in different forms, which is the following. Can you become too alkaline by drinking too much Kangen water? And the answer is absolutely no way. Our bodies, our bodies have a very, very efficient mechanism of dealing with acid. And there are two pathways, one through the lungs and the other through the... Now, <clears throat> organ transplants. That's a frequent question. Uh, my prospect doesn't want to drink the water because she had a kidney transplant and will think uh, it will interfere with her anti-rejection medicine. Well, let me say this. I don't know of any medicine that Kangen water interferes with. I think that's a total myth. In fact, I have now met three heart transplant patients who are in the Kangen water family and multiple people with kidney transplants. And there is absolutely no way in which they have been adversely affected by water. So organ transplants, Kangen water, totally compatible. And then there is a, a list, I'll just tell you a, a quick list of conditions that I've been asked about and have been asked to advise on how much and what pH water to drink. Uh, these are by no means all of them, but lung, liver, and bone cancer, leukemia, melanoma, brain tumors, Hodgkin's disease, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, stomach cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, throat cancer, breast cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and myeloma and others. And the answer is all the same for all of them. The water is good to hydrate people who are chronically dehydrated, which most cancer patients are. It does not cure the cancer, but it definitely can't hurt, and it might just make you feel better.